so these two are about to meet. Well, I guess technically they've already met, but through the fence. I'm just going to give them some time to tire each other out a little bit first, so it's not just like a big explosion when we go in. So far it looks like, <clears throat> like you see they both have their tails up. They're both uh, doing this ritualistic, you know, I can run faster than you, I'm tougher, stronger, whatever. But she seems to be, this one here, seems to be mostly in control. She seems to decide when to stop and start, like she just walked away from him now. He's all about fun, 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 so he wants to just keep playing and playing. So if she wants a little moment, you know, to go sniff stuff or whatever, or not be bothered, he seems like the type of dog that would just keep wanting to play and keep wanting to play. So in case she gets annoyed by that, I have the e-collar on him. So that, you know, when he comes out or whatever, takes off across the yard, I can control him from the other side of the yard. See, so she, she takes the lead a little bit. She's the one that decides to start running. She'll change the direction, and he pretty much, you know, follows wherever she's going. So he's going to be more of the follower type, and she's going to take more of the lead, it seems. <laughs> see this is good playful behavior if you're introducing dogs through a fence like this and you see this that's good tails are still high but you could see like if I step in. See how the tail goes down? The ears go back. Good. <laughs> she is a little unsure. I don't think she's used to being disciplined. Get out of the way. <laughs> See how when she looks at me, her demeanor changes, her tail goes down, her ears go back. Yeah, they're starting to get tired out, so that's good. Get all that like super immediate excitement burst out of them. And then it won't be so intense, you know, if I was to just like boom, let them out. But when I, when I let them out, it's going to be like, not, not normal play, like if you have dogs that have lived together at home for two years or something, this is going to be more of like a ritual, back and forth, give and take kind of a thing, so that they can establish, you know, their position. So if you don't, you know, I'm, I'm using e-collars on both of them because the cats were out and she's a little bit reactive towards the cats, but, um, you know, and I'm also alone, so. <clears throat> but if you have a friend, you know, you might want to do this on leash where, you know, one person walks the other dog out on leash and the other person has the other dog and you introduce them like, you know, let them sniff each other and all that stuff first and leave the leashes on them, you know, in case you have to pull them apart or something. But I don't have anyone here, so I'm just gonna have to rely on the e-collars. Back. Thank you. Actually, he's probably gonna be the first to go, yeah.
So that's good. She's allowing that. She's not nervous about it, really. A little bit of, you know, jaw chatter, but not so bad. I'm looking for that. That's what I don't want. Basically, with these kind of energies, what I'm looking for is like overexcitement, dominant gestures, and mounting. He has to earn that right to like be able to mount her even though. And that's what this, this whole ritual right now is about. Who's faster, who's stronger, you know. I think this thing's working. It's been acting really messed up lately turning itself on and then shutting off like every 10 minutes so the battery is not going to last but my other one died in the middle of filming the other day and then Roscoe here had to go get neutered so they haven't been out since they've just been tiring each other out out here back up But, anyway, they, they were playing the other day and they did really good. They just run and run and run. You gotta look out. <laughs> They're both really good together, you get a lot of give and take from each of them. So I'm going to let them get really good and tired out, get a little bit more acquainted, because it's been a little over a week since they played together. Um, and then I'm going to put them in here in the training pen and bring out a newer dog, Lainey. She was in, she's like 11 months old. She was in quarantine at the uh, dog pound for like six months. Her owner got arrested, refused to give up custody, and... I don't really know the whole the whole story about that, but she got stuck there, and um, man, when she came out, she saw the grass, she went nuts, and then she she had Giardia, so she's been kind of confined here for the first week, just limited to the one pen outside. But she's she's young; she's about their age, you know. He's. He's 11, 12 months, she's about 2, she's, you know, 11 or 12 months as well. And she seems pretty happy-go-lucky and friendly and playful, so... Let's see how they all do together. No, these guys are funny. What we got going on here. He keeps trying to, you know, be dominant towards her. In, a, in an easy-going way. Not a big deal. She tolerates it really well. But he keeps trying to hump her. So she gets annoyed. You know, I give him a little vibrate correction when he does it. She gets a little annoyed after a while. And then eventually she just gets up and like stays on him and puts him in his place. She's like a lot smarter than he is. <laughs> she, uh, she conserves her energy and she takes rests, you know, and then she'll like even stay still and let him run around in circles let him you know tire himself out so she actually has the more stamina and the more strength and then you'll see her so just get a little correction for that you'll see her uh, take the rollover and start being dominant towards him because she really doesn't take him very seriously he starts you know oh, let me chew on your head I'm gonna lick your ear and then, boom, straight for the vagina, and then she gets a little annoyed. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> but she will. Like, she'll present herself to him. She really does like him. That's just how it is, right? And then he'll just follow her. <laughs> That's how it is. It's the way the games play. stands above her like that. Just little stuff, you know, like trying to claim her in a way. Probably really far away, you know. Now everybody tired. Come on. Get a one track mind. <laughs> See how he cuts in front of her like that? He's trying, you know. I guess he's learning. Well, she really don't take him seriously. I'll just, I'll just let it happen. Starts chewing on her head. And then straight for the vagina. <laughs> so now she's gonna get on him, watch. She's gonna put him in his place. Now you see how she takes she takes the proud posture. I mean, he's still doing it too, but see one's on top and the other's on top. It's like neither dog is, is like more dominant than than the other. They just keep switching the roles. And like I said, when it when it comes down to it, she just bulldozes him. She doesn't take him too seriously. All right, I'm gonna go get the other dog, see how that goes. <laughs>